here I just want to take a few seconds and share a little bit about Jane which is our new show sponsor if you're not familiar with Jane Jane is a complete practice management software which means it's an EMR it can also do your billing whether you're out of network or in network so you can submit your claims to insurance companies your electronic reconciliation or just run your charting if you're an out-of-network practice also within Jane you can handle your scheduling both through the EMR and on your website and you can also handle all of your payments patient billing inside of Jane, take payments from credit cards, checks, cash payments, etc. If you're interested in learning more about Jane, go to jane.app slash physical therapy. And if you're interested in getting started right now, you can use our promo code ICEPT1MO, that's ICEPT1MONTH, for a one month grace period to get your account up and running and give Jane a try. So again, jane.app slash physical therapy, use the promo code ICEPT1MO. Enjoy today's show. Good morning, PT on ice. Making sure this Facebook is rolling. Good deal. Good morning. I'm gonna get Instagram rolling here. Good morning. Welcome to PT on ice. Happy New Year. It's 2022. We have got a wild year already scheduled with Ice Physio. We have so many courses for this year. We're really, really ready to see you all out on the road in 2022. Good morning. Good morning. I am Dr. Alexis Morgan. I'm one of two lead faculty members with Clinical Management of the Fitness Athlete, Pregnancy and Postpartum. And just a little quick shout out for our course that starts today. That's our online cohort, eight weeks. There are still a few spots left and you can sign up today. So you can go to ptonice.com slash r dash courses to sign up for that. And there's only a few spots left for our first live course. That is here in my clinic and in our my CrossFit gym, CrossFit Hendersonville, and onward Hendersonville outside of Nashville, Tennessee. That is February 19th and 20th. If you want to join us, there is not much room for you, so sign up. Um, if you missed that one, though, we're going to be in Greenville, South Carolina the next month, March 26th and 27th, and we would love to see you there. Happy New Year, 2022. It's the time of the year, you know, where we're personally setting our, our goals and we're reflecting back on last year and kind of the things that we maybe liked and did well, the things that we didn't love and want to do better. And it's really just a time for planning for the future. And oftentimes this period of time is one in which people are really aware of their health and their fitness, right? And we're all just hoping for a year of prosperity, a year of health. And when we look into the future, like all we see that that movie reel that we're playing is just all good things. And oftentimes that is involving that health. And we all know we talk about it all the time that really health revolves around fitness and and how how fit will people let us get them right so who better to have alongside these goals than us than the physical therapists who are who understand how we can optimize people's health and really get them into the gym of their choice and get them consistently exercising and improve their health. Kind of building off of what Jeff Moore talked about last week on walling the garden, which side note, if you haven't listened to that, press pause on here, go listen to that podcast because 
it was really, really insightful as far as a gu just guiding us for our practice for this year. But it's us. It, it, it's us who have, we have the time and the capacity and the knowledge and skill set and resources to help these people meet their health, their fitness goals in 2022. And really, when it comes down to it, one of the one of the biggest barriers for women in exercise is pelvic floor disorder. It, it's rising to be one of the one of the top top barriers. And if we don't ask about that, we may never know about it. If we don't ask the right questions, they may never offer up that information to us. And they may give us all these other reasons why they're not exercising because they really don't actually want to tell you that they're afraid they're going to pee their pants while they're at the gym and they could never handle that embarrassment. There's two recent studies that have come out looking at uh, this group of women. It was 4,500 women and they had symptomatic pelvic floor disorder. And it was, they were looking at a couple of different relationships to exercise, but one in, one in three of them said that their pelvic floor disorder is a substantial barrier to exercise. And we know that it's about a third to a half of women in general have some type of pelvic floor dysfunction, especially especially when we talk about this age range in which is, uh, you know, they were recently pregnant, they're postpartum, they're in those childbearing years, especially in that realm because it's, it's so fresh and they've just recently had some type of pelvic floor um, insult from that pregnancy or, or potential delivery. And so this barrier that women are reporting to physical exercise, it's obviously associated with physical inactivity. They are inactive. They are jeopardizing their health and their future well-being, current and future well-being, because they have a pelvic floor disorder that they don't have adequate help to improve. 46% of the same group of women, so 4,500 or so women, 46% of them report that they completely stopped a form of exercise due to their pelvic floor dysfunction. And you may think, okay, I'm curious, like what type of sports did these individuals do? And it, it really crossed the board. So from high impact all the way down to low impact exercise, like swimming, cycling, walking. Pelvic floor dysfunction is not just leaking urine. We talk about that one a lot on the podcast, um, but it also is prolapse or even just um, fear of having a prolapse and not quite certain what to do about it. And then also anal incontinence. And generally speaking, um, there is fecal incontinence, but oftentimes it's the like passing wind. And that is preventing these individuals from getting healthy. And so you've got to, we've just got to think like, if this is the barrier to someone getting healthy, what can we do about it? So this year, we've got to be ready for these conversations. We've got to be ready to start screening these individuals, asking the right questions for understanding, do you have incontinence? Are you leaking with coughing, laughing, sneezing? If they're not, great, but we need to go a step further. Are you leaking when you jump, jumping around with your kids? outside, jumping on the trampoline, like, are you having any episodes of leaking? Asking about what do they do about that? What have you tried 
How, did you know that we can help with that or that I have resources that can help you with these things? And then just being able to help them with the basics of pelvic floor. I'm not suggesting that everyone listening and that every physical therapist needs to do an internal pelvic floor certification. You don't need to come to our course to learn the internal exams in order to help these people. Oftentimes we're not even doing internal exams on everyone. And definitely it's not every single visit. There's so many things that we can help them with that involve just asking the right questions and assessing that and giving them solutions to try. And we talk a lot about that both in our live course as well as our online course because we truly believe that this should not be a barrier to exercise. These are relatively simple solutions for the majority of people. We are in the driver's seat here with helping people achieve their goals of health and their goals of fitness. We are here to make people more robust. We want them picking up that heavy deadlift bar. It just so happens that deadlift is one of the number one issues with the barbell that cause leaking. Let's not let that be a barrier. Let's teach them how to brace. Let's teach them how to manage their pelvic floor so that they can lift as much weight as possible and get strong and get robust. That is what we're all about. So let's remove the barrier to this exercise for these people. Own this space in your community and people will flock to you. No one is willing to have these conversations. Let's change that in 2022. Let's have these conversations with people, understand their barriers, and then start knocking them off of that barrier list. Okay, leaking was a barrier. We've got that. We've got that. That's gone now. What else? Let's get you lifting heavy weights. Let's get you exercising. Let's get you healthy and robust. Happy Monday, y'all. Happy New Year. I'm really happy to uh, to be here today to talk with y'all about that. And I would love to continue the conversation in the comments below. And thank you all for being here on this Monday morning. Hope to see you on the road. And like I said, if you're interested in joining our online cohort, it does start today. So you can sign up online. All right. Have a good week. See you soon. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the PT on Ice Daily Show. If you enjoyed this content, head on over to iTunes and leave us a review. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at the Institute of Clinical Excellence. If you're interested in getting plugged into more ICE content on a weekly basis while earning CEUs from home, check out our virtual ICE online mentorship program at ptonice.com. While you're there, sign up for our Hump Day Hustling newsletter for a free email every Wednesday morning with our top five research articles and social media posts that we think are worth reading. Head over to ptonice.com and scroll to the bottom of the page to sign up.